extendable hashing. So in B3 we have seen that it is used for storage in secondary devices and avial trees we use for sto storing trees in memory and uh, we have seen that these booth techniques were not able to give us order of one performance so we went for the next technique that is hashing which will have improved the uh, efficiency or the performance so here again we ended up with problem because as the file grew again the performance decreased so we go for the next technique that is extent hashing where it is um, trying to modify our hashing technique so that it is able to adjust itself whenever the file grows or shrink. So we'll just see the working of our extendable hashing. The first, th uh, the first thing which we need to see is what is trice or radix searching. So it is nothing but an extensio extension of our hashing uh, which introduces an another hashing technique inside it. So we can tell that it is having a branching factor but actually uh, it is equal to the number of alternative symbols which is included inside it. Now these alternative symbols are also known as radix that is why we call this trice as radix searching. Okay, the searching is done based upon this radix. So now we'll see uh, how does it uh, happen with the help of an example. So we are trying to read or build a tree uh, for these examples Abel, Abraham, Ada uh, Adams, Anderson, Andrew and Bait. Okay, so in this case whenever we are trying to create a tree we are trying to process it letter by letter and create the tree. Okay, now here we mainly since alphabets are considered and alphabets are mainly 26, we can tell that every node have a possibility to create every 26 nodes. Okay, so this is how the trees are been or the trees are been created. This is the example where I am trying to create the keywords uh, Abel, Abraham, Adams, etc. So here this is my root node. So we will start with here. Now it is A. So as I have already told it is an alphabetical uh, radix tree. So every node has a possibility of having 26 branches. Okay. So here we can see A is having we have only letters starting with A and B in our keyword. So we are having only two branches here. Now in A itself for Abel I have to need I need to go for A then B then L then Abel. Similarly, the second keyword is Abraham. So here it is A, B, then C, uh, then R, then we ended up here. Because there is no other keyword which is having the stream path. So we ended up here. Similarly, for A, D, Adams, we go like this A, D, Adams, then Andrew and Anderson. So here it is A, N, D, E, Anderson, A, N, D, R E W Andrew and in the case of Bade it is Bade so it is Bade so this is how the tree is been created by using alphabets so we can see that whenever it is required alone we are using it so we tell it as use more as we need more okay else we are not going to use every keys so the second technique is using digits for digits uh, here I'm having um, in the case of digits by using digits we can tell that we are having digits only starting from 0 to 9 so every node are having possibility of creating nodes starting from 0 to 9 so here if these are the keyword to be keys to be created by using the tree, tree we'll see how does it branch so here if it is 1 1 3 6 it is 1 1 3 then 1 1 5 5 3 similarly for 6 2 9 uh, 3 1 8 2 7 2 uh, 6 3 and 7 2 6 8 and 7 5 2 1 so this is how the uh, tree is been created in the case of digits so now we can tell comparing it with the alphabetical tree uh, it is having only keys or branches 10 in the previous case we had it having branches near to 26 so the second step here is turning the tree into a directory here we are considering only two uh, radix okay here we are considering two bits that is why we are telling as two so it is considered uh, it is processed like bit by bit so we can tell here the buckets are 
actually saving the keys the keys are actually saved inside the buckets so we uh, will uh, see how is it done or turning the tree into a directory uh, with an example so here I'm considering that I'm having three buckets bucket a B and C and the radixes of two means we are having the addresses 0 0 1 0 and 1 1 in the sense a is stored in 0 0 B is stored in 1 0 and C is stored in 1 1 so we'll just see what are all the steps required here for converting a tree into a directory we mainly having two steps the first step is first itself we have to convert the tree uh, tree into uh, array okay and uh, here we're trying to extend our binary tree uh, having the same level okay and the second step is we're trying to collapse the tree into a directory structure okay so these are the main two steps for converting a tree into a directory so this is the first step <coughs> where I am making uh, 0 1 point to a so 0 the a bucket is saved in the address 0 1 then next is 1 0 uh, where bucket B is saved in 1 0 and then 1 1 is where the bucket C is been saved so this is the basic structure of my example with a B and C with the address 0 0 uh, 1 0 and 1 1 here we go for the second step where I'm trying to balance my tree here we see that this is having an intermediate node here but in the case of a I'm not having an intermediate node here so I it is not a balance tree for converting it into a balance tree I'm trying to uh, trying to have the same uh, nodes in my uh, second node itself so this is how I try to introduce the node in both of the cases so 0 0 now 0 is having 0 and 1's and so now uh, the A is using the two addresses that is 0 0 and 0 1 okay and here B and C it is already uh, a complete tree so it remains the same that is 1 0 in B and 1 1 in C so we can try now th the, the this is a bin complete binary tree now I need to collapse that complete binary tree into a directory structure now how do I do it I am drawing a directory structure then I am making a pointer to the uh, respective buckets telling that A is saved or using the two addresses 0 0 and 0 1 as we already see here in this uh, binary tree and B is using address 1 0 C is using address 1 ok the third step which we need to understand is splitting to handle overflow now if an overflow condition happens in this tree structure how does it handle it now we are considering inserting a record ok we are inserting a record into bucket A and what happens if bucket A overflow okay so this is this basic structure we are trying to uh, make an overflow inside my bucket A now we already seen that we are having two addresses saving A but it, it might not be filled okay so it can be shared with an another one when A is having an overflow condition so that is what happens here when an overflow happens in A one of the addresses is allotted to A and the next address or the next address is allotted to the next overflow uh, bucket so that next bucket is known as D so this is what the diagram looks like once the A overflow the next address is assigned to the next bucket D okay now the next thing which we have to understand here is we need to understand whether it is a complete balance tree in the same case we are considering in the case of uh, trying to overflow B so again we come to this case this is my primary uh, file my tree where I'm trying to overflow my B instead of A so what happens when I'm trying to overflow B instead of A we have considered uh, what happens when A is overflown now the second example is considering what happens when B is overflow so when B is overflow now this address should be divided into two so one zero must be having one more uh, uh, address zero and one okay so we'll see it so in one zero we are again splitting into two so now again it comes one zero zero is B one zero one is D so this is how uh, what happens when B is been overflow now we need to convert it into a complete binary tree because you see this only this this much part is uh, splitted now the same way this have to be splitted here and here okay then alone uh, my tree becomes a complete binary tree. so this is done in the next step here okay so this is where I had splitted it okay now the same way I'm trying to make it up here in A and here as well so we see here uh, 0 is been split into 0 and 1 where both the address 
is uh, storing uh, it is pointing to A and here in 1 also the both of the address are pointing to A similarly here I am splitting C address into zeros and ones which both of the it is address are story, uh, saving uh, st uh, pointing to C now it is a complete binary tree now what I need to do is the second step then the second step I'm trying to collapse and create a directory structure now how many addresses are available I'm having 0 0 0 till 1 1 1 so I'm writing every addresses and step by step I'm going to make it point to the respective buckets now here the bu uh, 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 the addresses 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 are pointing to A so the same way 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 is pointing to A then here 1 0 0 to B and 1 0 1 to D so here to B it is 1 0 0 and to D it is 1 1 0 1 now to C we are having two addresses that is 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 so here 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 it is pointing to the bucket C so this is how uh, the tree works thank you